when an action generates benefit for which the benefactor has no right to collect payment, and the beneficiary has no obligation to pay, an external benefit arises. And when an action generates adverse spillovers for which the impactor has no obligation to pay, and from which impactee has no right to claim damages, an external cause arises. The existence of external benefits and external cost leads to misallocation of resources. For example, when drivers are not liable for the health damage of car exhaust, drivers will equate only marginal private cost with marginal benefit. But if drivers are forced to pay for the health damage of car exhaust, their marginal cost will go up by the amount of the external cost. In other words, drivers are forced to equate marginal social costs with marginal benefit. As a result, quantity demanded will go down and price of gasoline will go up if the marginal benefit stays the same. On the other hand, if inventions are not patentable to keep our imitators, licensees of inventions will equate only marginal private benefit with marginal cost. But if licensees are protected against imitators, their marginal benefit will go up by the amount of the external benefit. In other words, licensees can now equate marginal social benefit with marginal cost. As a result, quantity supplied will go up and price for inventions will also go up if the marginal cost of inventions stays the same. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the effects on price and quantity demanded or supplied when external cost and external benefit are internalized. When external cost or external benefit is present, the market price for the activity that generate external cost or external benefit is too low to be efficient. When these externalities are internalized, price will go up in both cases, but the quantity demanded will go down when external cost is internalized, and the quantity supplied will go up when external benefit is internalized.